Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. It's been a while since we've had a video. Um, today we will be talking about how to make a good rivet light fixture family. First we're going to go over a existing family, some of the things that we don't like about it, and then we're going to make a brand new family. Um, we're going to be making a circular family today that could be used as a surface circular such as the, you know, a much larger than a downlight. Um, or a pendant or even a recessed if you if you wanted to. Um, so in in that we'll be first looking at a circular pendant which is face based. I have that family here. So open your Revit. I'm going to use old Revit because you can always save up but you can't save down. So we're using 2014. We're going to go to the family section and open uh, this pendant that we have. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there's this giant square here, which is due to the fact that it is hosted. We can tell that, or you can always verify that, by clicking the Family Categories and Parameters button and checking this is the VG category it will be under. And if you scroll to the bottom in the Family Parameters section, you'll see that the host says Face. There's no way to convert any family from being hosted to being non-hosted. Um, you, you have to start from scratch. So it's very important to know um, if you're starting from a face-based or a free family. Um, if you're an MEP engineer, you do not ever want to use any other kind of host besides face as they will disappear and they don't work through links. So either face or none at all. So that's the first thing we'll notice about this is it's face-based. Next we want to see what kind of symbol is nested in here. So I'm going to click on the symbol that is loaded. You can also tell by looking at the families and see that I've named this, it's under annotation symbols, and I've named it annote for annotation. Just like when you have a family loaded into the project world, when you have a family loaded into a family, also known as nesting, you can click the edit family button. This opens up the nested family that we have inside the 3D family. This is a 2D family. We can tell because we look at the family categories and parameters and you'll see that this is a generic annotation. It has no 3D content. I'm going to first move this parameter out of the way so we can see what we're looking at. This is a generic annotation which means that it's a uh, symbol will show up and disappear based on VG, annotation categories, general anno generic annotations. It also means that this will size according to paper space. If you're familiar with CAD, I just used the word paper space, if you're familiar with Revit, it would be on the sheet size. So when we go over here to family types, um, you will see radius here is very, very, very small. Obviously, this isn't the two scale size. This is the size that the symbol will print when on paper. That means that though I've given this a parameter and you can size it in Project World, it's very frustrating because when you're in Project World and you go to Family Types, I just switched over to the 3D content, and you go to the size of the radius, um, you're looking at something that is very uh, hard to guess because it's going to be um, paper space size and we're typically used to typing in things that are real like nine inch diameter or, or something like that for the actual size of the fixture. So we want to make something that is with a detail annotation not a generic annotation which is what we'll be doing in the family that we're making. So next we want to talk about the parts and pieces of this family that we're going to be doing in our new, f in our new family. I'm going to click on family types and we'll just look at a few things. First, I don't have any families loaded. We tend to use default and then create the families types when you're in project world. So each type, sometimes people make pre-made types, we just have default. Um, we have switch ID 2 and 3 which are shared parameters. Hardly ever use switch ID 3, but we use switch ID 2 a lot. And we have emergency, which we definitely use um, a lot. And we do have generic uh, default elevation, which I will tell you right now does not work very well, if at all. 
fixture height is a parameter that is currently not a shared parameter, but we probably want to make it a shared parameter. Whenever possible, we want to use shared parameters because it allows you to schedule that parameter value. Next, we'll check out this uh, electrical connector and this green electrical connector here. Actually, it keeps clicking on the light source. Might have to tab select. Here we go. We have electrical connect uh, element here, connector element. We always want to pick power balanced because we're never going to have an unbalanced load on a light fixture. That will make apparent load only one parameter instead of three for each phase. Also, you'll notice load, load classification is not um, connected to anything. The little button on the right, associate family parameter, is not what I call hooked up. And that's actually currently a problem in all of our families. We want to make something that that's editable in family world or in project world, but we currently don't have set up. So when we do our next family, we're going to be setting this up to be an option that you can pick in project world. We also have voltage and apparent load. So again, we want to make sure power is balanced that first and then set up load classification, voltage and apparent load. In hooked up to the project uh, family types, or sorry, family types, not project family types, so that we can select those in the project world. Finally, the last piece of information about this pro this family is the actual 3D content. In this case, we you can see that it's upside down. It'll always look upside down when you do face ho based projects because the host is predefined in the template and that will be your ceiling so you always have to think about it upside down um, and then here's our fixture with our pendant so that's it for that first part looking at the existing um, family as an example when we do our family we'll need to look at all of those parts and pieces as well